Okay, so today I'm going to do my oral presentation on racism and slavery. I have a hundred reasons on why this is such a strong topic for me. Sadly, we are all aware of the racism that takes place across the world. It is 2017 and we are still dealing with racism. The reason why I picked racism as my topic is because it is a very serious topic that does not get enough attention in today's world. This is a topic that I feel definitely needs more attention. It's one of the main things that America needs to work on. Most people are too afraid to speak up about it. I've seen so many people be embarrassed about racism that I am African American. My peers have dealt with racism and they're embarrassed to speak about it. I've saw I've seen random people be nervous to speak about racism because it makes them feel insecure. I am a female that is 21 years old and I am African American. Being a female is already hard in today's world. On top of that, being African American, I have endured so many challenges in my life firsthand. Um, the first time that I endured racism, I would say I was in about the third or fourth grade and I was in an all Caucasian school. All my classes all was all Caucasian kids. I grew up around all Caucasian kids. And it was like one other little black girl. And to this day, me and her are still best friends. Like we were like the only little black girls and we like, you know, we connected right away. And being in fourth grade, I got teased so much like I got teeth so much that I still remember you know everything today that's how bad it was like years later I still remember the exact words that was said to me they would just always make us feel like we were out the loop for some reason like it's like we weren't cool enough to be with them and things like that and I still remember it I still remember it um, firsthand, I remember that they would say, they would talk about me and my best friend names because everyone knows that we have different names. So they would talk about our names and we'll just be like, well, why do we, you know, be born with a more, you know, name that's not hard to pronounce and things like that. And I remember one time in the auditorium, they would not stop messing with me like they were saying like how I look like Jay-Z because my nose is big and my lips are big and I was so insecure I was so insecure I always remember being insecure about my lips and my nose all because all the kids would you know laugh and talk about me and that's something that I overcame but you know I dealt with a lot of racism at that school firsthand in like the third or fourth grade and racism applies to any culture, not just African-American culture. And relating this to music, there are thousands of artists that have songs. They speak through their music about racism, you know, because that's the only way a lot of people can express themselves and get their feelings out there is through music. So there's a lot of artists in the music industry that speaks on racism. Racism illustrates with music in plenty of ways. Music is the best thing that could have happened to this earth, in my personal opinion. Music gives people a certain platform to speak their mind. It goes all the way back to the slavery days. So we're going to bring racism back into it. It goes all the way to the slavery days to be exact. Music helped the slaves keep their faith and their hope. So dealing with what they were dealing with, Music was the only thing that gave them hope. The only thing that gave them hope. Singing was a form of communication for slaves. It all began with the slaves who were shipped across the Atlantic. Only the slaves were able to understand these lyrics in these songs. The most popular songs are Wade in the Water, Go Down Moses, Swing Low Sweet Chariot, and Let Us Break Bread Together. My favorite song would have to be Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. I have known this song by heart since I was about three years old. Swing Low, Sweet Chariot is considered to be a cold song. 
this was a cold song for the underground railroad and it's one of the biggest songs that's probably why it's my favorite song a lot of people sung it around me growing up they made sure i knew that song it goes swing low sweet chariot coming forward to carry me home swing low sweet chariot coming forward to carry me home the slaves were indication that the underground railroad will be their way to freedom freedom these songs are all very emotional and sad kanye west a hip-hop and r&b artist is a perfect example of an artist that speaks on racism majority of his songs he speaks on worldwide things that happens in society that's why so many people love his songs and so many so many people can't take him because of his mouth he speaks the truth and he is a class he has a classic song called jesus walks everything that kanye west stated in his song is really about what african americans go through he states we at war we at war with terrorism racism but most of all we at war with ourselves when he says that we are at war with terrorism and racism, he is talking about the racism that we have to deal with every day. Although slavery was abolished, we the oppressed still get treated differently. When he says that we are at war with ourselves, he is referring to how African Americans are killing each other. That other races don't even have to be at war with us because we're killing, beating, and robbing each other, our own race, putting ourselves in jail. He states, they be asking us questions, harassing, and saying we eat pieces of crap like you for breakfast. When Kanye West states that, he is imitating how police officers talk to African Americans when they are pulled over. I have also witnessed that at hand and some of my friends at hand. This song is very bold and caused a lot of controversy, of course. Kanye is a great music artist who is known for causing controversy. All of the lyrics in this song are very true and heartbreaking. He makes you open up your eyes and see the world that we're really living in through a song. He states, we ain't going nowhere but got suits and cases. Kanye is saying that usually when an African American have on a suit, that it's not a, for a pleasant reason. Most likely, he's going to court. It's sad to say that all of those are facts. This is why I feel so strongly about racism and slavery. We're living in the year 2017 and my race is still being mistreated the worst way. I have so much to speak on when it comes to racism, being that I am African American. We are all very, very aware that racism has been going on for years now, but that still doesn't make it okay. You would think that over the years, different races will learn that we are equal by now and that no race is better than the next. Sadly, that is not the case. It feels as if I'm living in the 1800s. It's very scary to admit, but being black as of today is terrifying. I tell my parents and family members this all the time. Recently, hundreds of articles have been released to, to the United States about the crisis that's happening over in Libya. Several very disturbing videos were released of humans being sold. That's right, not land or merchandise, but humans were being sold for as little as $400. If that doesn't say a lot, then I don't know, really know what to say about America. The videos were showing the slave auction. When seeing things like this, it breaks my heart like no other. It makes me cry to know that the world that we live in can be so cruel. How can a human be so cool to another human that wraps up my presentation today on racism and slavery relating to music